So I'm sure by now you know to expect a twist or two from each of these concepts that I discuss. So let's go to take a look at one of the twists that we have here for on um, pivoting of columns. So if I go again to my Power Query Essentials folder, I have another workbook number five on pivot two. So when I open up my on pivot two, here I already have a data table that is called sales. And what you will see here is that in the January column, I only have two values. So I know the expectation here is that we are going to unpivot all the columns from January all the way to June, which ideally when we do the unpivot operation, we expect to have the same number of values in a column to also be the same number of times each of these column headers are going to appear right so but in the event where you have some empty values in a column which power query usually represents as null values let's go to take a look at how this is going to affect our pivot so for example in february alone if we do a count of how many values we have you can see that we've got nine occurrences of february and so do we have for all the other months between february and june however only in january we have just two values under january so let's go take a look at how this is going to affect our own pivots in power query all right since i'm already here in my query editor and i'm bringing in a new data set like we saw earlier i should just go to my home tab and then i'm going to select new source and I will connect to Excel workbook. And I'm going to pick my number five on pivot to workbook. In that workbook, I will be connecting to the sales table. So I will make sure I have the sales table ticked. Then I'm going to come over here to click OK. And as you can see, under the January column, we have only two values with the other records being empty and represented with null. So when I select my city and I hold control to select state, if I do a right click to select on pivot other columns. Now let's assume that I'm going to sort the attributes column to make this easy for us to do our counting. I'm going to sort the attribute column by clicking on the drop down on that column and then I will select ascending. Now, if we go to take a look at each of the months, you can see April appearing a good number of times. So do we have February appearing a good number of times. But by the time I scroll down here to look at January, you can see that January appears only twice. So what happens here is if I go back to my apply steps right before I applied my own pivot, that should be on the change type step. You are going to see that I have a lot of null values here, but when I applied my own pivot, all those null values essentially are going to disappear. So when you have null values in a column, they don't naturally come in as part of your unpivoted values at the end of the day. 